Hi. In this video, I want to show how to create your first app. So we have Xcode and uh, the middle option create create a new Xcode project. Uh, now we have a single single view application. Next, and we give it a name. That will be the app. The name of the app. Uh, my first app. Next. And create. You create the app. Well, we here have uh, this window actually, uh, which you, you you would use once uh, everything is done and your app is ready uh, to be put in the App Store or just use it as an app uh, look here uh, on, on the left side we have these files indeed uh, root classes actually uh, app delegate uh, dot swift view control dot swift main storyboard and the other ones uh, well, each of these represent a root class, actually, and uh, this would be like making a house. Uh, you would you would use bricks, for example, or steel, or other materials, uh, or higher people professionals to uh, fix things or to install equipment uh, the materials are already present and we would choose from among them to put them together to build the house uh, but imagine uh, that we have no materials like we have to create them, we have to invent them. Uh, that would be pretty difficult. If you go back uh, like a few decades, uh, you, you would have a similar situation in relation to making apps actually everything every object uh, had to be created like you would have to create uh, almost everything and the interface this the, the user interface uh, is a, represent an environment in which we could uh, we could only use our ideas kind of to uh, create the app based on our ideas the materials are present already so and this app delegate dot swift is like a framework uh, imagine you have uh, a land plot and then why well, you have to work within the uh, borders and you can't go beyond that uh, so a framework and this um, behaves like that and the other ones as well like I said uh, root classes uh, let's click main storyboard 
โอเคเออ if you go to the right side of the screen you have all these inspectors uh, attribute inspector this one identity inspector health inspector uh, and other inspectors and this is uh, for connections to uh, see your connections like you would need outlets and uh, you need to make sure that the outlet the, the outlets are properly connected uh, well let me let me delete this this view controller uh, i would select it and press delete uh, so we don't have it uh, now and if uh, but still we have the root class we have this root file and if you click on on uh, this uh, view controller and press delete then remove references so we don't have it uh, now uh, I mean it, it, it comes as default and we could we could add one ourselves uh, so go to the right side and the object library this is called the object library well you you have them here uh, i mean this is the the object library and press control and add a view controller uh, okay your view control i mean you you have added this and it has to be uh, connected to the system imagine that the app is a system of uh, connected and interconnected uh, like frameworks and files and uh, codings uh, okay this the uh, uh, view controller that we have added and it has to be added to the system if you go to uh, the uh, this inspector the identity inspector you here see this UI view controller and uh, well but this is not uh, the one we have added we have to create a file for it a separate file so we go to file to file a new and file here okay and this coca uh, touch class which is for ios for iphone uh, and then next well this coca touch is like a library or in environment and we create uh, our app uh, inside this environment and we give it a name the view controller that we added we now give it a name let me use uh, my first view controller then you have all these classes so this my first view controller is a subclass of this of UI view controller uh, well if you go to the drop down uh, and you you see all these all these classes so uh, you would you I mean once you advance you would need any of these uh, to use in your projects and so at, at this point my first view controller is subclass of UI view controller I mean this class uh, and you also choose the language i mean the programming language with swift there is object objective c or i mean uh, this option too and and, and leave this uh, xib file as it is i mean don't check it and then next okay and you create it i mean 
you you create you create the uh, uh, view controller the view controller that you have added and you now have uh, have it here look go to the left side of the screen and you see it here my first view controller and here my first view controller a new UI view controller look this is a class uh, also UI kit and, and this UI this UI this is a user interface uh, well this part this let me uh, okay expand it a little bit uh, this part you put your definitions or your variables or your statements and then when you move to this section to this function section you would expect to I mean you, you would need to tell you would tell the app what to do what action to take so well, the action would here be something like you have the definition or I mean the conditions here and then uh, what it should do what the app should do based on that definition on that uh, statement that you made there let me okay I want to make an app I mean actually this is our first app that would be like this that when the user opens it like touches the screen it would appear and uh, uh, would say hello hi something or let it be write it so uh, I would I would use var uh, greet greet like uh, the, the, the app would greet uh, the user equal sign and then open quotation marks uh, hello world I and mean, this is a cliche uh, my name a little bit capital my name is Ali. Okay. I want my app to uh, greet the user. So this is what I want the app to do. And then if you go to this action part or this function part, uh, and you would need to um, write a code something that would execute uh, that condition that uh, the thing that I want to tell uh, the user but before before writing the code you would need to go to uh, main storyboard and here you would need to uh, add a label uh, look at this little sign which uh, well let me click it and it says uh, it has no entry like uh, uh, I mean there is no instruction uh, for the app to I mean what to do first that that, that, that is like that if you go to the identity uh, inspector and here is initial check this is initial view controller so and this arrow indicating that the uh, entry uh, is here like the app begins at this point then there might be 
more views or uh, many more objects and so uh, it, it starts at this point I mean, it starts uh, at this point the this uh, view controller uh, is the initial view controller the initial object uh, and now go to the object library uh, you could type it here in this box but I mean it's not a long list so uh, I would I would add a label uh, okay I can uh, just put it here okay it's probably now uh, in a good place um, well in the in the lib in the object library you have all these objects bottom text um, I mean the other objects you would need to e explore them and once you advance you would need each of these to use in your projects uh, and uh, now I need to add this this uh, label to the uh, uh, classes I mean to the infrastructure of the uh, app so so I would go to this sign here which is the assistant editor and uh, click okay uh, I would have to look for uh, my first view controller uh, dot swift so uh, it's here look it's here uh, okay I, I can see it here and would uh, uh, control I mean you would put your cursor on uh, the label control and drag I'll put it here in the class I mean here what's happening okay I think I think we need to check uh, to check something uh, go the, to the uh, right side again and the uh, this the uh, identity inspector and uh, let's let's make sure that uh, yeah it's here my first view controller it's, it's here you 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 would have to uh, make sure that the uh, your view controller is added to this app system and now if you go back to the label control and drag okay so let's give it a name like uh, my first label okay and you use this box weak I mean the, the other option is strong I mean weak and connect I mean you you here make an outlet okay you you see this circle uh, and the uh, label is already connected uh, you could check with this inspector too which is for the connections so if you click on the inspector you see my first view controller my first label okay it's connected uh, okay let's close this window and uh, go to uh, my first view controller dot swift and you see the outlet here too I mean it's connected uh, I mean this this my uh, my greeting is going to be appear in this label I mean this object my first label uh, will contain uh, my uh, uh, greeting indeed and now you need to tell the app to execute it I mean to uh, like a program in such a way as uh, to 
obtain the desirable results so then you 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 go to this function uh, view did load i mean it has to be loaded actually and you put your cursor here uh okay my first label well here my first label i mean the outlet my first label and this uh, a text actually i mean you could uh, click twice and then you get uh, the the equal sign and uh, well this is my my first label dot text is equal to this greet greet okay yeah i mean you see it's green and it's purple so it it i mean you, you can be sure that everything is done correctly okay now if you if you use the simulator which you which you could uh, select uh, by going to product okay and then scroll down to destination okay you can select any of these uh, simulators i mean i i have chosen already iphone 7 plus and so and run and run run let's let's see if the app works uh, we have to wait a little bit yes you see hello world my name is ali okay i mean it's obviously working uh you could make changes i mean before before i finish this video uh, uh, let's go to uh, my first view controller dot swift again and uh, add uh, some uh, and write more codings uh, we we want we want my first my first label well here, here uh, under this function i mean that is in this function my first label dot uh, text uh okay well color text color actually text color uh is uh green i want the text color to be green to be green dot and green green okay also let me add one one more one more thing uh my first my first label i wanted to uh the background the background color uh, to be uh, let's say brown brown we have brown okay uh, well let's let's run the app again okay it takes some time before it's fully compiled also before uh, appearing in the simulator iphone 7 plus yeah you see hello world my name is ali and the background color is brown and the text color is green well it's possible to make more changes or to add uh, uh, more features and uh, kind of c customize uh, the uh, the aspects of the uh, of, of your app uh, 
Thank you very much. This is the end of uh, this video, uh, how to uh, create your first app. For uh, further information and uh, tutorial, uh, you could probably check with my other videos on this subject, I mean, on making iOS apps. Uh, subject uh, including my video on uh, how to create a UI table view and how to perform uh, a segue between uh, views between UI views thank you very much